Hello there, it's Jay Comfrey here, BT Sports Premier League presenter, and this is my BAFTA 60 seconds. What was the little sort of bit of stone in the middle of that trophy? That, well, I was reading that while you were interviewing him. It's, yeah. it's a piece of uh, salt from salt rock from right. below You've forgotten the... it already, No, basically. no, I can't remember the exact words. I, like a lot of people, have always enjoyed a drink. Yep. Right? I've got here a glass of decent red wine. I think it might be a, a good quality Merlot. I, I agree with, with Howard, the jump is natural position, you raise your arm, but there's that little extension afterwards where he's held the arm up and normally you'd bring your arm down when, you've, when you're landing. So I, I would have been inclined to have given that. But oh, I'm not a referee. <laughs> We've noticed. <laughs> Some say you weren't a goalkeeper rather. Sum up your job in three words or three things you need to do your job. Um, okay, I'll sum up my job in three words. Access privileged chancer. He just scored a 94th minute yeah. winner away. By the way, cracking, cracking finish. I that guy's not getting high on his own supply, is he? No. <laughs> He's not like, yeah, this is my moment. Let me tell you everything. He's just... Yeah. yeah. Another of the core drivers I want to explore with you is sleep. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Because I always thought, oh, have a couple of drinks if you want to sleep well. I mean, I'm the that yeah. was, I'm on a flight, it was always, yeah. give me three or four bottles of that red wine because I want to sleep. Um, I'm imagining I probably have got that wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I imagine you're probably going to tell me why. I'm going to yeah. tell you off right now. Yeah. What normally happens with Eddie, ten seconds before we go live, he takes it as a piece and he goes, oh, what are you going to ask me? And I tell him the question. Five seconds later he pulls it out again and goes, but what am I going to say? And I'll he leave you with that thought. Such a poor <laughs> The best one, I He's think, was shocking. when... He'll have everybody in Ireland hating him. No one will want to watch him on that stupid football sport next year. Yeah. No, one of the things when we... Who's your guru? When I was growing up, it was Johnny Vaughan. Uh, absolute hero of mine. Loved him on The Big Breakfast. Uh, Des Lynham as well. The consummate sports presenting professional. That means clearly he wasn't expecting to be seen full <laughs> length on camera. He's on keyboard. He's this is, this is, this is, you know, this is stylish. <laughs> From there upwards, he's absolutely fantastic. But you know, he looks cool. He looks cool. He doesn't. He doesn't. Does, 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 what do you mean? No, you look cool. You look. I can hide behind the desk if you want. Mm. Not your face, though. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to leave you. So there you go. Everybody thinks that England are not going to win the World Cup. And everybody thinks that today is going to be a high scoring game. Let's hope that one of those things definitely happens today and the other one doesn't happen. Fingers crossed for England at the World Cup. And fingers crossed we'll see you in a couple of seconds to talk football. Today is going to be a high scoring game. What's the secret to success? Very simple hard work and that's the one thing nobody sees and everyone thinks you got where you got by luck oh, Sophie, whoa! Now, come on. thank you very much for watching thanks for a wonderful four years i hope you have savored it and um see you around <laughs>